What's up, I'm Vin and today I want to show how to construct parallel lines using the rhombus method. But first I want to talk about why this process works. So our goal is going to be to construct a quadrilateral with four equal sides, and that's going to be enough to establish that we have a rhombus. And once we know we have a rhombus, a rhombus is a parallelogram, and opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. So what I want to do is I'm going to extend the compass in such a way that I know that it's going to hit this line L at two locations. So you can imagine here if I swing it like this, it's going to hit line L in two locations. And for this entire construction, I'm not going to change the length of the compass at all because no, a rhombus has four sides with equal measure. So notice here, we get a few intersection points that this arc is going to hit line L at two locations, but I'm going to label this location here as A. So I started this construction by placing the compass on point B, but now I'm going to move it from B over to point A, and I'm going to swing another arc. Remember, I'm not changing the length of the compass at all. But I swing the arc and it hits this line L at another location, which I'm going to call point C. And this represents the third point of our rhombus. And now I'm going to move the compass once more over to point C. And I'm going to swing an arc for one last time until it hits that original arc. And that last point of intersection here, we're going to call point D. So now A, B, C, D, if I connect all these four points, would make a rhombus. But the only points I really need to connect here are points B and D because that's going to form the straight line that's going to be parallel to line L. So if we look here, and let's just say I aim this really carefully, when I connect points B and D, this line that I've just made is going to be parallel to line L. So I'm going to draw my arrows in. And the conclusion that we could draw here, let's say I call this line M, I could say that line L is parallel to line M. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on constructing parallel lines with the rhombus method. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.